Okay guys, today we'll be doing a review of the Saima M14 EBR. This is the uh, CMO32. It's been upgraded and it's been changed into a M14 EBR. You can get this gun at evike.com. Um, that's where I got it. Uh, you can also probably pick it up at Airsoft GI or Airsoft Station for $270. Um, this gun will come in a very uh, uh, very nice package. It'll be uh, it's styrofoam that's been cut into the shape of the gun. Um, it's included a wall charger that charges the battery, um, uh, which is an 8.4 volt, and that will come also, so you don't need to worry about buying a battery. I do not recommend using the wall charger. It will work, but definitely grab a smart charger if you don't have one already. They'll come with a high-capacity magazine. Um, this holds about 350 rounds. On um, uh, Mid-caps are hard to find for this gun, so you're probably going to be stuck with this. And, um, of course, it comes with the gun itself, and it will come with a sample bag of BBs. Uh, I believe they're point two, but don't use those because they're really crappy BBs, and uh, they will break in your gun, most likely. <laughs> okay, now we're going to talk about the externals. Um, this gun is fully metal. Um, the upper, bottom receiver, the rail system, um, the barrel, the inner and, at and outer barrel, both metal. The sights are fully metal. Um, the only pieces that are not metal is this uh are this hand these hand guards two on either side um but they're really thick plastic these aren't going to break uh they're also screwed into the metal so there's no possible way that's breaking um the handle is uh i believe it's uh polymer or high uh end of abs plastic but that is sturdy and the stock which uh is a little wobbly um but it's comfortable, so it, it won't fall. It'll probably fall off if you drop it on concrete, but if you just drop it on grass or on mud, it won't break. I'm going to talk about the internals of this gun. This gun has a fully metal version 7 uh, gearbox with a high torque motor, and uh, it's very nice. It shoots well. It is fully, on semi fully and semi-automatic, and the uh, fire selector switch is right here, like most M14s. Um, the, it does have an adjustable, adjustable pop-up, you see, is right there by where the magazine is stored. You probably want to adjust it uh, when you get it out of the box or before you shoot it, because it does come, and mine was all out of wax. So definitely uh, make sure you adjust it before you uh, take this into battle. Uh, this gun has a RI, uh, an, an RIS system. It has four rails, uh, two side rails top rail, bottom rail, and a small rail right here if you want to put something smaller in here. Uh, put it close to your face. Um, also, uh, the iron sights on this gun. Um, I like the iron sights a lot. They're uh, M14, M1 Grand iron sights. Um, adjustable. Turn it to uh, raise or lower it. Uh, and it does come this is a sling mount. It's uh, pretty nice. Um, it's not going to break. It's welded on there, so that's nice and sturdy. Um, right here, the slide goes back. Um, it really doesn't do anything since the hop-up is right uh, where the magazine goes in, but it makes a cool sound. I wouldn't pull it back too much. Uh, you might mess something up in the gun. Stop it. Some pros of this gun that I like, um, it's... Uh, really, it's a sturdy build. Um, other than the crane stock, um, everything feels really tight and really durable. Um, the fully metal, which is also makes it heavy, which I'll go over. Um, the iron sights are really nice. It has a uh, RIS system. It's, pr it's very, it's not, uh, yeah, it's very accurate um, up to, I don't know, 150, 200 feet. Um, and it has a good, uh, perfect power for me. It's 382 around, if you're lucky, fully charged 400 feet per second. But, um, a lot of websites will lie to you about that, so just keep that in mind. Um, it does come with two rail mounts, which I like. Um, definitely get a sling for this. It's a very heavy gun, and I'll go over what attachments I would put on it and what I'm running right now at the end of the video. Okay, let me go over some of the cons. There aren't too many, but, uh... Let's start out. First of all, this gun is very heavy, um, which is a downside of having full metal, um, and especially if you'd want to put a lot of attachments on it. So keep that in mind when you are picking out attachments, it can weigh you down a lot. Another con is this wobbly stock. Um, 
I, as I went over before, it probably will break if you drop it on concrete. Um, here, uh, the uh, there's an 8.4 volt butterfly type, and that has very little energy in it, and it is just quote a test battery. So pick up a 9.6, and finally. Uh, you can take this off, but it will come with a really ugly generic orange uh, tip, which you can pretty easily take off. I still have yet to take mine off, because the side I play kind of frowns upon it, so I just decided to keep that on. But other than that, um, that'll do our review for the Simon 14 EBR. Now we're going to do a uh, shooting test on it and uh, an accuracy test. Okay guys, in conclusion, uh, I really enjoy this gun. Uh, as you can see, it does have some pros and cons. Um, it fires well. Um, definitely, I would definitely recommend picking this up if you have $270. Um, it's a good support weapon. Um, and yeah, that's about it. Uh, thanks for watching, guys.